Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. I got lots of material because of Chinese New Year and I want to show you what I have here. This is very heavy. And it came not from China. Oh, lead. This I will use for my newly built third hand and I will put it in here that it's heavy. The next one Ah, capacitors. I have all sorts of capacitors because this is very handy if you are uh, tinkering. Now this one I did not have. This is from 0 0.1 microfarad to 10 microfarad, but they are ceramic capacitors and not uh, electrolytic capacitors like these. By the way, they are very well packaged here, that they are not damaged on their long journey from China to Switzerland. Next one. Oh, what is this? I did not order a split core current transformer. No idea. Oh, something completely different. See, these are RF modules, either 433 or 868 megahertz, and they will fit with others. I already purchased, they are different chips, different frequencies, and you can imagine I will do a shootout with these. As usual, if I get something, I want to be sure that it works before I confirm the reception. Because after I confirm the reception, it's hard to start a dispute. So, this is what I unpacked before. What I did now first is I removed this small antenna and put an SMA connector on it. Why did I do this? because I want to connect it to my spectrum analyzer. But first I had to connect it to an Arduino and find a sketch to program it. You see here this is an Arduino Pro Mini and as you see it has a red sign on it and this means it is a 3.3 volt. I mark all my Arduino Pro Minis 3.3 volt with this red flag that I know it immediately. Okay, so I have 3.3 volt Arduino. I have the NRF905 I just unpacked before. And I have the spectrum analyzer. So let's start to look if the whole thing works. The data sheet says 
its frequency should be around 433 MHz. With the spectrum analyzer I can look where the transmitter transmits a signal. So basically I start up and we see immediately that we have a quite a strong signal at 430 megahertz. It seems that the module is active transmitting in the 430 megahertz area and the, the chip works. Not easy to open. Oh, this is something interesting. This is the missing part for my binocular. Ah, and this is the ring to mount the camera to the lens I just uh, got before. To test the setup I mounted the objective and the camera ring to the binocular. Now the camera is mounted and now I show you what I see with the other camera. This is what the camera sees. It is less than optimal. So it does not work as expected and I have to start discussion with the supplier. And these are SMA, SMA connectors to be mounted on PCBs or also you can build some small antennas with these SMA connectors. They are quite handy and uh, very cheap. Wow. Lots of cables and different adapters. For example, N adapters to BNC and they will be used for my new spectrum analyzer. Again, RF modules, for the shootout.
Ah, this is a kit of old 74 series high seas. This is also for tinkering. As I mentioned, I love assorted kits because if you are tinkering, then you're always happy if you just can turn yourself and take the necessary part out of your shelf. Handy. These look like normal buzzers as this, but they are not. To check whether I got the right things, I compare a buzzer, a normal buzzer, and a loudspeaker, the loudspeaker I got before. First, I check the resistance of the buzzer. The resistance of the buzzer is more or less, it's an open connection. Now we look at the loudspeaker, the loudspeaker has about 40 uh, ohms only. The next test is to connect it to 5 volt. The buzzer, you clearly hear the sound and the loudspeaker Nothing, no sound. And I have also to pay attention that I do not disturb it because uh, a quite a high current can flow because of the 40 ohms. Now, how can we check the, that the loudspeaker works? We have to connect it to a signal source. To do the test for the loudspeaker, I use my waveform generator and key in sign and frequency and 1 kilohertz and I start it now and you hear the 1 kilohertz sound we can change the frequency and you hear also that the resonance uh, frequency is about 2 kilohertz. The advantage of the loudspeaker is that I can choose the frequency and also the amplitude. And now the last one I already unpacked. This is a ES9023 module and it will be used for my $10 radio using an ESP8266. You might see one or the other of the unpackaged goods in later episodes. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. Bye.